Okay. Really? Yeah. That's quick summary. Okay. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. <laughs> We would like to call the Board of Trustees meeting to order for June, January 22nd, like 2019, <laughs> June, yeah. Freeman, at 7.32. <laughs> Notices were posted about the change in date at the Village Hall and Metro stations, and agenda hard copy is available at right over there on the desk, as well as down at the uh, circulation desk. So. We would like to first review call to order and roll call. Trustee. Okay. Barsky. Trustee Wolf. Here. Trustee Barshis. Here. Trustee McDonald. Here. Trustee Rogers. Here. Trustee George. Here. And Trustee McLaughlin is participating by phone because That's I am her. here uh, via electronic. <laughs> okay, via electronic. Okay, welcome. So behind uh, section number one are the minutes from December 2018th at 7.30 p.m. Are there any corrections or additions to the I minutes? I move approval of the minutes. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> Who is that? Me. Thank you, Jim. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Yeah. Okay. Behind number two are the minutes from the public uh, open house meeting regarding the outdoor renovation held last Tuesday. I move oh. approval of the minutes. Okay. I'll second. Second. Can I, can I second them? I'm, I'm on the committee. Does that matter? Uh -uh. Okay. Okay. I'll second. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Don't Aye. Okay. Opposed? Passes unanimously. Got you. There is no presentation today, and so we're moving in to the public comment section. With did you? Did you, did you want to? Are there? Would you, I'm not sure of the order other than thank you. you would you like <laughs> okay. to get here and just introduce yourself <laughs> yes. and say thank you? We will take that. Huh? Yeah, we will. And we have three observers uh, in the audience today, <laughs> as well as Jody from Tesla. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Edie Rawl. I'm with the Little Garden Club of Wilmette. And I did attend the open house as well as other board meetings and committee meetings. And I'm very much looking forward to um, Jody's discussion tonight. I don't know what's involved with that. But uh, from just a glimpse of, of an idea of what may be there, I think I'm going to be very pleased and would just like to thank in advance of this group, the trustees, as well as the various committee members and staff who have been working on this project, and Jody Mariano from Tesca, for their willingness to be so open and uh, receptive to comments and suggestions from the community. It's very refreshing. So thank you. Thank you. And we appreciate you. your interest, your input, and look forward. To I second that. <laughs> Can I vote? <laughs> Thank you. And we'll, we, we'll uh, the outdoor, the post uh, outdoor renovation project for public bid will come up in the action items. Thank you. Anybody else have any comments? Okay. Ron? Find the you. treasurer's report. Um, as you might guess, December is not a big revenue month. Our largest uh, income was from the Calworth Public Library contract. We received 49,126 and change uh, as determined by that contract. Um, we received 6,000 uh, and change in real estate taxes. So obviously, um, you know, the next round will be from the um, spring bills that will be going out soon. Um, we may actually get some uh, higher income in January receipts from real estate taxes because the uh, Cook County Treasurer offered um, Cook County residents the option of paying early uh, in order to put 
um, uh, increased deductions for the 2018 calendar year. So we may see some benefit from that, although it's... It was for the 2017, so that's why a bunch of people... No, actually, the first installment for 2018, which is coming, which is due in March, mm -hmm. could be paid in 2018 in December. The Cook County Treasurer made that option available. It will be interesting to see what effect it had or how many people took advantage of it, but for those of us who made an early payment for 2017, um, the opportunity to make an early payment for 2018 enabled us to basically rebalance the scales in terms of tax position. That's all it really represented. But the bottom line is that option has not previously existed other than last year, and, and it became available this time as well. It's easier because the first installment is 55% of whatever last year's total was. So there are no calculations of any difficulty. They don't need the filings of the various bodies. That all gets calculated in the second installment, which comes due in the summertime. Um, but generally speaking, everything is pretty much as we would expect. We're at about 50% of expenditures. We're 46.61%. And of course, at six months, you would expect to be at 50%. So everything is pretty much as we would expect it to be. Um, there's nothing else extraordinary in the numbers for December. Uh, the next item is approval of bills and salaries for December, and I move approval of uh, the, the, the bills and salaries as in attachment A4. I'll second it. Okay. Roll call. Uh, Trustee George? Yes. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Yes. Trustee Barshes? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Yes. And Trustee McLaughlin? Um, Trustee O'Laughlin says yes as well. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the action items. The first action item is a resolution for a notice of appointment for the IMRF, which is the pension fund. And traditionally, the director has been appointed uh, to that position. And we are recommending that the director continue to be appointed for this year coming up. And what that does is basically specific reasons why it's necessary is to centralize the local administration of IMRF in one person, to file payroll reports and member forms, pay contributions, file benefit applications for members and advise members and local governing bodies, and to act as the agent of the governing body in IMRF matters. And I move approval. Thank you. Do you want to just say what IMRF stands for? Just okay. The Illinois, Illinois Municipal, Municipal Retirement, Retirement Fund. Fund. Thank you. Just for our... our I'll second the approval. Mm -hmm. Voice vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It passes unanimously. Outdoor renovation project. Okay. Had a wonderful meeting. I wasn't there, but I love the output and the results. Would you mm -hmm. like to summarize what some of the changes have been? Sure. So since the last meeting where the board motioned to proceed with um, uh, the project for the outdoor renovation, um, we held a committee meeting on January 7th. Uh, we were joined by a number of guests, um, including a number of members of the Little Garden Club of Wilmette, as well as Jody from Tesca. And we collected a lot of feedback at that meeting. Um, a lot of that information is contained in here, and I'll introduce that here in a moment. Um, subsequent to that meeting, we also held um, our public open house on the 15th, last uh, Tuesday. Um, we collected a, a lot of really great feedback from that meeting as well. We had representatives again from the Little Garden Club um, and a number of members of the community. Um, Jody gave a great presentation and overview of the program, or the, the project rather, at that program. Um, a lot of the feedback that we collected um, was information that we had already uh, gleaned from our meeting in um, committee. Um, it reinforced, I think, the approach that we were taking at that time. Um, and a, a couple other pieces were also introduced. So just in sum, some of the feedback that we've collected in recent times um, 
we've gotten strong reinforcement about the addition of the snow melt system. Um, so we've noticed that there's an opportunity for us to increase, increase the coverage of the snow melt system on the entry plaza. Um, so we've addressed that by um, replacing some of the bluestone paving that was leading up to the building um, with some concrete. That's reflected on um, the attachment that you see, uh, the drawings there. Um, so we've expanded the concrete in that plaza um, and the snow melt system that is beneath that. So that will keep um, in conditions like what we have this evening. Um, come next year, we will not have icy conditions out there. There won't be a requirement for salt. Um, it will make snow removal easier and the whole entrance to um, that, that plaza will be wide open. Um, so there was great support for the snow melt system. Um, there was a request for us to address um, seating. So you'll see that there's um, an alternate that's been added um, to this drawing that shows the addition of uh, movable chairs and, and uh, tables. Uh, that was a discussion that had taken place in committee um, many months ago and kind of mm -hmm. fell off the plan, I think, as, as part of some discussion. The committee members may want to comment on that. Um, we've added that in as an alternate for your consideration this evening. It can go forward in the bid package should we go in that direction. Um, alternatively, we could also accomplish that through um, our own um, operating budget as well if we elect to do something like mm -hmm. that going forward for programming purposes. Um, but we've also added a number of benches throughout the course of the project, and those are reflected on the drawings, too. Um, other feedback that we collected included some concern about the, the turf um, on the lawn. Um, you'll see on the drawings that um, we've reduced some of the plantings that are around the perimeter by the sidewalks and added turf in there. Mm -hmm. um, so there's been a little bit more turf fill. Um, that was a comment that was presented at the um, open house meeting. Um, there was discussion again about the uh, the garden itself, and um, that was prim the primary focus of the January 7th meeting. Mm -hmm. um, the garden, as you can see in the drawing, has been updated. The plant material on the attachments reflects our commitment to all native plantings. Um, a number of members of the committee brought forth um, ideas, um, or at the committee meeting brought forth ideas for what types of plantings we should incorporate. Um, those are reflected in the drawings there. Um, we can discuss that here in a moment. Um, the path through the butterfly garden was also a point of discussion in the committee meeting. Um, Jody was very responsive in that meeting on the 7th and brought out um, um, some tracing paper and kind of mapped out a way that we might alternately orient the path. Um, and that is reflected in the drawing that you have before you this evening. Um, one of the benefits that we have in that was a concern for the uh, retention of the, uh, the Rooney apple tree. As you can see that with this rerouting of the uh, garden path, we're able to retain that tree um, as well as um, sustain the, um, the ADA accessible pathway that reduces um, the need to take the, a sharp corner um, on that hardscape. Mm -hmm. It kind of rounds that off in kind of a natural way if you were approaching the, the library from the east. Mm -hmm. um, it would follow the shortest path to get to that south vestibule entrance, so that makes it a lot more accessible. Um, it also incorporates what the committee's uh, initiative was uh, to have the uh, planters be accessible. And you'll also see that the planters are now reflecting um, the addition of uh, some perennial plantings in there as well. So we've got a commitment to retain those. Um, that kind of summarizes, I think, the overall approach of what we were, uh, the, the small tweaks that we were making to the plan mm -hmm. in response to the committee meeting and the open house. Um, all of that is included in your packet here. I'm happy to walk you through any of the details um, that are included in that drawing. Um, if you have any questions or if committee members want to say any more about what they observed at those meetings. Uh, just maybe a quick question on the existing trees to be protected. Um, were those slated to come down, or are we just saying that we're going to keep those now, this little area over here? The existing trees to be protected are to be protected. Okay. I think that's consistent with the way it's been all along. Um, yeah, that was my question. Yeah, nothing's yeah. changed. The one, the trees with sort of the squiggly lines in the plantings are new trees. Mm -hmm. um, but anything with a circular uh, um, circle around the tree is an existing tree that will be retained. Um, and I just say I love, I love this, uh, I love the new path. I think it's great. I like the way it looks better. I think it just looks better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not that anybody's seeing it as a bird's eye view, but um, I just think it, it um, accomplishes everything and, and in a better way. 
So it, again, we, we appreciate all the input from the Little Garden Club of Wilmot. We just think you guys really pushed us to get a better product, and we really appreciate it. You know, you held our feet to the fire a little, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what the public is for. Well, so I just yeah, I, yeah, and I want yeah. to just kind of echo what you just said, um, Ginny, in the sense that I felt like this this became we, we all along we've tried to do what we felt was best for the community, and mm -hmm. as we started to get more and more input, it just seemed so much more collaborative, and so mm -hmm. to where we are now, and maybe comments going forward will prove me wrong, but I feel like we I feel really good that we've gotten to a place that may not be perfect for everybody, but mm -hmm. we've addressed everybody's concerns, and Jody, you've done a great job of that, mm -hmm. and and by extension we're now presenting something and going to build something that's going to make everybody happier than not and and you know and that's and, and, and really present something that's going to be very uh, enjoyable for years to come by the library community and the community mm -hmm. as a whole so so thank thank you Jenny for kind of spearheading the committee and, and yes. for everybody here for for the input and, and yeah. obviously you as well Jan for being our initial conscience on this, on this whole thing. So, <laughs> well, so I think you. it's a great model for going forward for any large renovation projects yes. in yes. terms of having a yeah. more yeah. detailed public uh, commentary mm -hmm. and sharing yeah. section and the other thing just